welcome back. It has been a while since my last video because I suck and real life happens and YouTube gets put to the wayside. But hopefully I will be better in the future. I'm hoping to do a video a week now. Um, so for my comeback, because it is October, I thought I would do an altar tour. So I'm just going to go kind of this whole area behind me is my altar because I actually have the table over here and then like a little storage thing over here. So I'm just going to go through piece by piece and basically what it's used for, where I got it. Um, most of it was from physical stores, but if I can find something online similar, um, I'll try to link it below. Um, most of it was from Earth Gifts in Jacksonville or Avalon in Orlando. So I'll try to find substitutes, but I'm going to jump right in. Um, kind of going from my right to the left. So I have candles in every single color. I have pillar candles that I've had for maybe two, three years now. Um, they last a long time because I don't burn them um, all at the same time very often. But it's just nice to have big candles this of every color because um, I can use them for whatever I need. Um, if I have a specific spell in mind, if I have just want to do some cleansing, I can just like the white and black ones, stuff like that. I can just pick and choose which ones I need, so I just like having every color to be prepared. I also have a pre-made candle bundle. Um, this is from Earth Gifts. It's for financial growth. Um, so each color is specifically for financial growth and little description on the side, you know, has a little incantation if you want to do that. I also have a little, it's tequila, it's in the shape of a skull. Um, my mom actually gave it to me for Christmas, I believe. Um, but I don't drink. So I just thought it was cool looking, it had some good energy, it had like my mom and that kind of thing. And I just like having stuff on my altar that gives off good vibes. It's you know, a positive thing. I like the energy that it has. It looks cool. I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be a purpose. It can be decorative. Um, so I thought that fit pretty well. Um, and then I have some little empty, I guess you would call them test tubes. I don't know what else to call them. I use them for spell bottles. Um, just little handy things that I can put like herbs, and that kind of thing in. Um, I don't have anything to seal it with wax. I'm hoping to get one of those with like um, a candle that you can melt around the rim because it has cork. Um, I actually use these in a few. Um, I have like a motivation one, like it's like motivation and energy, and then I believe the other one is like a calming concoction um, that I have at work actually in a little pouch that I keep on my desk. Um, but they were small and they were they are easily packed with just a little bit of herbs. Um, I actually got those at Michael's, uh, I believe during last Halloween because I guess they're supposed to be like little jello shot science things. <laughs> but they suited my purposes just fine and I just found some like, and like bagged corks um, that fit. That was hard. Um, I wouldn't recommend going that route. <laughs> and then I have an oil burner. Um, I don't use it for oil very often. I actually have wax melts that I put on top of it. Um, I got a, a wax melter, but then the light bulb broke, so I couldn't use it. So I was like, I have this. It works. Um, I have a Pisces oil and a vanilla oil to burn. I'm a Pisces, and I loved the smell of it, so I thought that was really good. I got vanilla because I just love vanilla. Kind of next to that in the same category. Now, I purposefully did not clean my altar because there's all these pictures floating around Tumblr and, and everywhere of these perfect looking altars that are all set up, they have the crystal grids, they're, they're beautiful. That's not what a used altar looks like. Like, they're beautiful and I'm sure, you know, for decoration or something, but when you go to use it, a lot of the stuff's just in the way. So. I have my little candle holders and there's wax all over the table. 
Um, and then the two of them look kind of gross because in one of them I burnt a gold candle, so it looks kind of gunky. Um, but it is what it is, you know? I can get it off the table anytime I want. <laughs> I could, but I don't. Next to that, I have a mortar and pestle. Um, I don't use it too often because most of the herbs that I get are ground up already. Um, but I just thought it was super useful, so I wanted to have it on hand. Kind of along in those same lines, I have a little, I believe it's pewter? Cauldron? Um, that I use a lot as evidenced by the inside. Um, and I have a little burn mark on the top of the handle. I've done like spells where you'll write something on a piece of paper and burn it. I, I do that in there because it it's, has little feet that's off of the table so the table doesn't get heated up. Or before I had the motor and pestle, I, I had to crush up something, I don't remember, but I use that. Um, it's just handy little thing to have. And then I have a jar that I actually got inspiration from, from Tumblr. Um, it's was meant to burn your incense in. You could like stick it up, um, put the bottom of it in so it would stand straight up, but it's like, it's salt, lavender, um, black pepper, just cleansing and banishing and just calm and, and that kind of thing. Um, but I actually found that when you burn the incense standing straight up, it had a tendency to fall over the edge of the jar. So I stopped using that and I used my more traditional incense burner and I really like it because it has storage um, that I can put all my sticks in. I don't have to keep it in the plastic that they come in. The newest addition to my altar is actually this coffin bookshelf thing. I got this in my spooky box for vampires. I actually I had to stop getting spooky box because it was so expensive to get it in the US. Um, I'm hoping to maybe start it up again later. Maybe I'll get a raise. But this was in the last box, and I thought it was adorable. Now, it came in a raw wood form, so I did paint it black and white. Um, I wanted the white because I thought it would be really bright and show really well whatever I put in it. Um, so I put my crystals, which are amethyst, fluorite, rose quartz, hematite, and moonstone. I previously just had these crystals like in a bag and I really like this a lot better because they're out, um, I, they can be used and seen and it reminds me to charge them more, um, they're not like shoved away in a corner somewhere so that was nice. Um, and then in the shelf below that I have all of my little candles that go with the, the messy candle holders <laughs> that you saw with all the wax. Um, I actually need more, I have too many of the few colors that I have. So I need more of a variety for the tiny ones. Although that's kind of what I have the big ones for, so. The very bottom shelf is a little ghosty rock that I got. Um, my coworker went to California and she found this on the beach. So I thought that was a really good um, addition for like my, sea my inner sea witch. And uh, you know, just again, positive vibes. It came from the other side of the country. So I thought that was a really cool thing to have. Um, so that's on the bottom shelf. And then I have a bigger, I believe it's just white quartz, um, but I really liked it because it was very smooth and clean lines on it. Um, it was a little expensive, um, but my mom actually got it for my birthday, again from Earth Gifts. But I just, I love it and it has so much positivity coming from it that anytime I want, I can just hold it and I, I feel so good, like it's just very nice. Um, now the little, <laughs> the little green one, I'm not ashamed to say that I have no idea what this is. Um, I don't even remember where I bought it, to be perfectly honest. If you know what it is, please tell me, please. I would love to know because then I can give it better intent, I can utilize it more instead of just saying it's pretty rock. You know, I, I'd like to know. I also have an abalone shell that you use with sage. Um, it has little holes in the side to help the smoke go through. But I don't use it too often. I don't burn sage too often because we're in an apartment 
and the fire alarm is very sensitive <laughs> um, and it's a, on the smaller side it's only a one bedroom so the smell of the sage is very strong so I don't want it to be too overwhelming maybe once it gets cooler once we can like open up the back doors or something I'll burn it more maybe like out there <laughs> so the wind can carry it it'll be good but I don't I don't use it too often as evidence I mean it's super clean so now moving on to the shelf to my left this is kind of a catch-all place that I put stuff it's a combination of my altar stuff and art stuff because I have a lot of art supplies and while I have a big portfolio bag it's not good for like markers and, and stuff like that that can get lost in it and um, so the top has dried herbs that I have in little mason jars. I don't have many because I, a lot of the herbs that I use are in the kitchen. <laughs> um, I don't do much kitchen witchery, but I just use a lot that you, you would use in cooking. Um, so like bay leaves, basil, rosemary, oregano, I almost said oregon. I don't know why. But a lot of it I just grab from there, so I don't really have to have jarred herbs. Um, but I do have a few. The roses are actually from a bouquet that Blake got me when we when I first moved in. So that was very sweet. Um, next to that, I just have some pretty jars. Because jars. Um, I really like the mermaidy looking one. Because my inner sea witch is like... Phew. I also have a jar full of water and this water actually came from North Carolina. Blake and I took our, essentially our first vacation um, and he had never seen snow before. So this is a jar full of the first snow that Blake saw, which I think just has some awesome energy to it. Um, I could use it for cleansing, I could use it for, I could drink it if I wanted to, but, <laughs> but I saved that because it, it just gives me good vibes and good memories and everything. Also on the top of that shelf I have my little Haunted Mansion candle holder. Um, I actually went recently and got uh, fake tea lights, little orange sparkly tea lights, because I found that when you light six of them all at once and put it against a wall, it's not good. Don't do it. Fire safety kids. Actually look kind of cooler. They flicker and I can leave them on for longer. Um, and I don't have to move it if I want to turn it on, so that's nice. But I got that from Michael's, and it's awesome. It's made of aluminum, I think. The shelf below it mainly has bags. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for. One of them had the crystals in it. But it's mainly bags that I got from, like, jewelry, from, like, online stores where I bought jewelry. And then my big haul of tea lights that I got from Ikea. Uh, which has lasted me forever. Um, I think at least a year, but I think it was like a pack of a hundred, so it's just like awesome. And then I have an Amy Brown Oracle deck set. I used to use this for my daily tarot drawings, um, but I don't know, we just didn't work well together. They were too happy for me. I don't know if that will make sense to any of you, but I don't know, they just, whenever I drew them, I couldn't take them seriously. It's hard to explain, but I mean, I, I love the art, I love Amy Brown, I follow her on a, like all her social media, not in real life, I don't stalk. So I wanted to keep it, but I don't necessarily use it, and then just like the box for my current deck, which is the Deviant Moon Tarot. Um, I actually do daily drawings still on my Instagram, which I'll put below, which I like a lot better. It has kind of like a dark sense of humor. Um, it calls me on my shit. <laughs> I really like that deck. Below that is really just art stuff. I have like sketchbooks and markers. Um, I do have a box that has my altar cloth in it, but I don't use it very often because my altar is here. <laughs> so it's already on the table. Um, I guess I could lay out the tablecloth and then put everything back where it is, but 
I don't want wax on it and I know it's gonna happen. So it's in a pretty box for special occasions. <laughs> okay, so for the final piece of my altar, I left the best for last. It is this wand that I actually got from Megacon. It's from a place called Elliot's Wands and they are completely handmade. Even the box is like hand painted. Um, but I really liked it because it was in the style of Harry Potter and Ollivander's wands. And I'm like the biggest Harry Potter nerd ever, so I might actually do some videos on it. Um, and my best friend Allie went with me to Megacon as well, and she's huge into Harry Potter. And we walked by their table as they were sorting these people for their wands, and they really did. They asked questions like it was like, What's your eye color? What's your birthday? There were more than that, but I don't remember. It was a while ago. But based on your answers, they would pull maybe five or six wands and have you pick them up, feel them. What do you think of the color? Does it, you know, work for you? And I really liked that because it was so personalized and it went with the pop culture and it was just, it was awesome. So I got this really pretty wand. I love it. I think it goes with my personality really well. Um, I'm a Slytherin, so I, it just, it's perfect. Um, I don't know. I just, I really loved it. And I think because it was so personalized, it works so much better in spells. Um, I mean, I guess you, I know a lot of places on like Etsy have, have wands and that kind of thing. I do have the actual elder wand, um, that I got from Harry Potter world, but I don't think it has the same effect because I know it's just plastic and this was handmade from wood, hand painted with love, like I know there was so much energy that went into this and I picked it, well it might have picked me, I don't know. I'm a human, I like to think I have control over these things, but um, you know, it, it was picked for me and so I think that gives it so much more power for it um, but I will link them below as well they gave me a card um, I think they're mainly on Instagram and like Facebook so I'll give that a link um, but they're amazing I don't know how they would do it online I don't know if they do mainly cons so that might be a special thing that you have to like hunt for but that is it for my altar tour that's pretty much what I use daily. Um, again, I'll try to link as much as I can in the description, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a feel of what I use, what I what use it for, and kind of give a glimpse of what my altar looks like. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Make sure to subscribe because I will do better. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye!